this lens over here, it's called the king of the bokeh and it's called that way for a reason. It's an f1.4, it's 105mm prime lens from Sigma and it's my favorite portrait lens. It's incredible, but the problem with it is that it's very expensive. So guys, for those who don't know, bokeh is this creamy and battery effect you can get on your pictures when you shoot at a very shallow depth of field with prime lenses normally, but there is other lenses as well that have a very shallow depth of field. So to get this, you need those lenses. And I kind of recommend you to get bokeh naturally with lenses like this, but because they are very expensive, I bring you today a software that does this bokeh effect in one click and super easy. So this software is Luminar AI. If you follow my channel, you know that I always promote Adobe and Luminar because I used both for years and Luminar works as a plugin for Lightroom and Photoshop. So it's how I use it, but it works as a standalone software. So if you don't want to pay subscription, you pay once Luminar AI and you own it forever. And it's very good because it's very cheap. And I reached out to them before having an audience for them to give me an affiliate link and offer a discount to my future audience. And now I have it. So I have a discount link below and a free trial. And I highly recommend you to do the free trial first because this software is very powerful and it requires memory. I think it requires 16 gigs of memory, but sometimes it can work well with less. So that's why try it out with your computer and then if it works perfectly and you're happy with it, come back to the video and grab it through the link below. I'm gonna edit four pictures, very different ones. They are portraits, but quite different for you to see how good it works, this software. This one is the first picture from a business photo shoot I had in London. This one I took during one of my solo trips to the surf champion of Ecuador. This one is a fashion shoot in London. And this one is a travel shot in Indonesia, in Bali. So as you can see, they are all portraits because I love portrait photography, but they are very different ones. So you're gonna see how this software works amazingly in all of them. So let's start for this one. The first thing I do in Lightroom is the basic corrections, which you can do in Luminar as well. So don't worry, you don't have Adobe. What I would do in Lightroom is apply one of my presets. You have my preset packs on my website. You can check them out later if you want. I'm gonna put them below. Clean and bright, faded browns, editorial master, moody blacks, editorial neutral. I'm gonna apply this one because it's the one I use the most actually for my portrait work and my fashion work. And I'm gonna put a bit more exposure on him because I like moody pictures, so I don't want to brighten all the picture. Tiny bit there, leave the shadows. And in Lightroom, that would be it. This is the retouch in Lightroom before and with the preset I have available on my website. So now, because it works as a plugin, right click, edit in, Luminar AI, edit. And it launched the software and there is a lot, guys, to play with, even if you are a beginner. There is so much going on in this software but I'm gonna save it for more tutorials because I really, really love it and I'm sure you guys will as well. And there is so much going on, so I'm gonna divide it in different tutorials on my channel. Today we're gonna focus on the bokeh feature. So let's go here and the bokeh feature is in edit. Here's where you can edit the picture in many ways. So we would go lower here, creative side, portrait, there you go, portrait bokeh. And you will see how easy it is to apply bokeh to a picture. 100%. That's it. This is the before, look the background, before, all focus, which looks good as well, but if you want bokeh, this is the after. I'm gonna zoom in a bit, before, after. <laughs> it looks incredible. And as you can see, by AI, it creates a mask and it's perfect, this mask, guys. It's super, super perfect to be done by AI, but for example, here, it missed a part that is selected and it shouldn't. So that's why it's very clever from them that they add the brush control. So you can focus, defocus, or restore the mask. So here, because you see it's red, it means it's focus. So you would have to go here to defocus. Then you change the brush size. You make it a bit harder here, a bit tinier. And you just have to go to the mask and paint it. There you go. And I've been very picky because you couldn't even tell that. And that's it before and after. And then there is so many things I want to tell you about this software, but I'm gonna add just one feature more today, which is this one. Let me go up here, sun rays. Place sun center. This would be the sun. I'm gonna put it here, amount. And I can put a flare. You can do it bigger. I'm not gonna explain too much this today because it's very intuitive actually. 
I'm gonna put it warmer overall look and as you can see this is the before and this is the after so what it does it changes the lighting of the whole picture guessing how it will be for real with the sun there so this is very good but you feel it's too dark you just have to go here enhance by AI and you can enhance the picture and I'm gonna take this tool for you to see this is the before and this is the after how much it improved the picture with the bokeh and the sun over there so this was just a little feature there is many of them so let's go with the next picture this one will be the next one I'm gonna apply one of my presets as well this one would be one if you like clean and bright pictures faded browns this one I love I really really love this one and let's apply this one editorial master this one is one of my favorite presets i'm just gonna put the exposure a bit higher give it a bit more saturation i like to desaturate pictures and i'm gonna bring a bit up the warmth there you go just with the preset this is the before and this is the after it looks like an advertising campaign i love it so here you put right click edit in luminary AI again edit and super super quick let's go to edit let's go down here portrait bokeh 100% and that's it before and after it's incredible look the background and after you can also obviously reduce it I'm doing it like 100% for you to see but it's incredible then you remove it here let's go for the next one this one is gonna be super quick as well let's apply I know this one is very good moody film actually this preset is free for the ones who belong to my private community so if you are a member go check it out because you can download it for free and for those who are not a member you can check it out underneath as well in the description below so i'm gonna apply moody film as you see this is the before and the after it's like a bit more vintagey and it adds grain but i'm gonna remove it for this tutorial right click edit in luminary eye here it is edit Super quick again, let's go here, portrait bokeh, 100%. And that's it. <laughs> this is the before, look the background and the after. Before, after. And you would have bokeh right away. And the last one. This one is a travel shot, it's a travel picture. I really love it, I love travel photography. So I'm gonna apply for this one, Moody Greens. This is my best selling preset on my website. You all love it. It's very moody, as the name says it, and it's very, very nice for travel photography. So this one is Moody Greens. I'm gonna put it here and I'm gonna illuminate a bit the face because it's too dark. Tiny bit there, less obviously. Leave the shadows a bit. That's it. And this is the before and the after preset. It looks incredible. I mean, I like Modi pictures, so I love this preset. You can check it out on my website because it's available as well for mobile. So even if you don't own Adobe, what you can do is download the Lightroom app on your phone and you can use still this preset, even if you don't own Adobe. So this is very good if you use Instagram and you apply this kind of presets. So let's go to it. Edit in, Luminar AI, edit. Again, super quick, edit. Portrait bokeh, amount, 100. And look the mask, it's perfect. It's absolutely perfect. You don't have to mask absolutely anything. This is the before, look the background again, and this is the after. And there's way many more features. For example, if you go to face, it detects where the face is, and you can give light to the face. There you go, before and after. You don't have to mask anything. A slim face, make it like slimmer. I'm gonna do it more. For you to see what it does before and after. This is just another feature, but it's just to show you how many possibilities you have with this software. And guys, I do have more tutorials on my channel about Luminar 4, but Luminar 4 is already gone. It's Luminar AI. So you can take a look to all the tutorials about Luminar 4 because all those features Luminar 4 has, Luminar AI has them but way better. So go to check those videos because I have one with landscape photography that you're gonna love as well. And I will see you soon again, guys.